We'd like to take the time to turn our attention towards something that's taken place a little further from home, but in no way further from our hearts. The 2013 Valentine's Day Massacre, and just before we dive into this any further, let me first point out the sole fact that we're still referring this situation as an open case is downright sickening. We'll take a look and move and travel to Pretoria, South Africa, to the home of Oscar Pistorius, perhaps better known as the Olympic Blade Runner. Now, I'm sure you've heard all about this by now, as it's already been covered over a year and a half since the tragic night that ended with the horrific death of former girlfriend and model Reva Steenkamp. Turn back the page to February 14th, 2013. Pistorius and Steenkamp were laying in bed together and got into a fight on what's supposed to be the most romantic day of the year. Doesn't sound very different than our own lives, right? Wrong. The evidence describes the case as a Lovell's quarrel, as Steenkamp stormed into the bathroom, crying and shook from the situation to hide. Pistorius took the time to put on his famous prosthetic legs, smashed the door in with a cricket bat, walked across the room, grabbed his gun, and fired multiple shots in quick succession through the door murdering his girlfriend. He claims he thought it was a robber who snuck into his house and was hiding in the bathroom, so fear and trained reflexes as an athlete are what caused him to pull the trigger. To make matters worse, Pistorius has a long history of violence towards women and trouble with the law. On September 12, 2014, Pistorius was charged with culpable homicide, a much lesser charge than premeditated murder, and that has him facing a maximum of 15 years in prison but could equally has a chance to wind up with extended probation, house arrest, or even a fine. So what does this say about our current state of society when the value of a person's life is measured not in fairness, but in wealth? No matter how you look at this, it is a perfect example of corruption and celebrity power. Is a poor girl's life really worth more or less because he's worth more in dollars and cents? Once again, we're asking you to read between the lines. On behalf of the entire team, Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you next week.